A new breed of robots is being developed for life in the city. One day they may be collecting our waste, guiding tourists or helping the elderly. Urban robots are a new kind of robot, different than those we've had until now, which are industrial-style robots. The basic quality of these robots is that they should be able to get along with people. But the street is a challenging new environment for these machines. Certainly it's difficult to move a robot around among people, because that's what we're talking about, a non-structured environment in which the robot moves and where the robot shares the space with people. So this is certainly an important innovation, a change in robots. At the forefront of that innovation is Dustcart, a robot rubbish collector from Italy. This little green man is designed to go from door to door, taking away waste on demand. But getting around a bustling city is tough enough for humans, let alone robots. Here in Barcelona, a team of engineers are working on a solution to allow robots to operate independently in urban areas. Their prototypes are called Tibi and Darbo, and the idea is that they could one day become robot tourist guides. On board are three computers running a barrage of sensors and equipment. This campus is equipped with Wi-Fi internet and 20 cameras to allow the robots to navigate around. The same setup would be needed in any city for Tibi and Dabo to work autonomously. Navigating around the city may be difficult, but drawing attention from its citizens is easy enough, at least for dust cart. The first idea that we had when we made a drawing of this robot was a bin with two wheels. That's because the idea was to quickly make it clear what the robot was meant for. Then working with people through questionnaires, we understood the importance of the emotional aspect, the feeling that the robot gives people. That's the reason why we have a head with eyes and a body, which is much more human than a bin with two wheels. Both of these European projects share similar objectives, to develop networked robots able to move autonomously in an urban area while interacting with humans. The researchers are optimistic that these machines can help us in our daily lives, although there are still huge technical hurdles to overcome. I believe that in the coming years people will have no problem in calling a robot to come and pick up their garbage. They use common technologies, like they call using a cell phone, they connect via the internet. The approach to technology as a whole has changed very much in recent years. But there's still a tough road ahead before these urban robots become a common sight on our streets.